Back in the early 1970s, one of the smallest players made the biggest impact on University of Miami football. His name, Tony Christiani. He's 5'9", he was a stump. I'm going to tell you though, he was quick as a mongoose. And you know how deadly a mongoose is. He came to Miami at 5'9", and just a little over 200 pounds. He's a stump. Well, you ever run into a stump with a car? It ruins the car. What Christiani really ruined were offensive game plans. Larry Wilson was then a Hurricanes receivers coach. We saw this little five foot nine, 198 pound middle guard who looked like he should really should have been in a circus uh, line up over the center and thought we had no problems. We couldn't do some of our offensive drills because Tony was constantly in on our quarterbacks. Born into a circus family, Christiani put his acrobatic talents to use at Miami, not in the center ring, but usually in the opponent's backfield. His defensive line coach, Harold Allen, remembers the first time he saw Tony on the practice field. They come up and told me he was a defensive lineman, he was about five foot 10, but he did weigh about two, 210 pounds. Very strong young man and everything, and I said, well, we'll find out if he's gonna be a defensive lineman because he's not very big. But eventually, uh, with his quickness and everything, he drove people crazy here at the University of Miami. His sophomore and junior seasons, Christiani recorded 32 sacks. His head coach was UM Hall of Famer, Fran Kersey. We had two great football players when we came there, Chuck Foreman on the running back position on offense, and of course, Tony Christiani on defense, and he was spectacular on defense. When he played on that football field and he went out there, he went out there with a big smile on his face, he loved to play the game, he was so quick, and if they kept statistics on sacks at that time, he would probably still hold all the records at the University of Miami in sacks. He was lightning quick. He would outmaneuver any center on a football field, had a tremendous desire to get to the quarterback, which he usually did. And once he got there, he destroyed him. As you know, we've had some great nose guards, the Reuben Carters and some of the boys that have played for us gone into the pros, but Tony didn't have that size. He was just a tremendous football player, very enthusiastic, and he wanted to be a great football player. But Christiani had talents away from the football field, namely in the kitchen. Uh, Tony thought himself as a great Italian cook, and he was going to have a spaghetti dinner for all the defensive team. And I'll never forget, he did have that spaghetti dinner for him, and we had to wait a week because they all had diarrhea and was unable to practice that week. So Tony is a great cook, but uh, Tony, be careful when you start cooking for a whole team. But even that incident didn't keep him out of the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Christiani.